Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is uh, create some, uh, learn how to create networks and diagrams. Okay, and we're going to look at just the basic construction. Uh, so the package that we're using is called TIKZ. It's a very good package that allows you to pretty much unlimited customi customizability for networks and diagrams. Um, okay, so, you, so we need to put this again in the preamble, otherwise nothing, nothing that we do here will work. Uh, okay, and then once we've done that, we create this begin and TIKZ picture environment. Uh, here we, we're just using begin center and center just like we did with the tables. Okay, so this again shows you how some of these commands, you know, really can be used uh, uh, for, for many different uh, environments like tables and diagrams. Uh, and then we're gonna, let's just get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a node. Okay, and what, you, what the diagram is going to be is essentially a sequence of nodes and, and maybe edges between them, uh, if, if, depending on what you're doing. Okay, so we're going to learn how to do that. So to create your first node, you just write this, node draw. Uh, this is going to be what the reference point of the name of the node is, uh, which we'll see we'll need to make reference to uh, when drawing edges. This is going to be where it's located, okay, so it's sort of, um, everything is going to be uh, relation, in relation to each other, and this is going to be the text that goes inside the note. Okay, so exactly like that. Okay, so then we can go on. So to create another node, okay, so we can call this n2. You can call it two. You can call it whatever you want, right? If I just put some some words here, uh, and let's put it to the right. So let's say five zero. See how that comes out. Okay, so um, and uh, it's very important that every node and edge you draw has to end with the semicolon. If not, it's not going to work. It's not going to compile. Okay, so this is you know choosing the coordinate, right? This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. So this is choosing the coordinates as to where these things go. Okay, so if I put you know four, it's going to move to the left a little bit, like that. Okay, if otherwise, uh, you don't have to, okay, I'm going to just change this back to N2 because it's easier for to stay consistent this way. Um, okay, so for example, we can do N3, uh, but instead of specifying the coordinates, we can specify um, that we want it to be below node N1, okay? So you see, this is what we get. Okay, so now we, we, you know, so you can do below, you can do below left. Okay, so, and you, so you have all these sorts of features. Okay, um, let's just, let's just manually put it because I would prefer there to be more space. So I want it to be below, so it has to be negative. So let's say minus five, uh, zero, and then get rid of this. Okay, so we're creating some sort of diagram. Okay, that's a bit too far away. Let's put it minus three. So we're creating this diagram. And uh, so now we have sort of the text and we want to sort of maybe create some links. Okay, so A implies B implies C or some sort of chronological order, whatever. Um, so, okay, so first, maybe we don't want rectangles, okay? It seems like the automatic feature is rectangles. Maybe we don't want a box at all. So, if we don't want a box at all, we just write draw equal none, and what you're going to get is the text without the box, okay? Uh, similarly, we can say, uh, we can specify the shape. So, if we want circle nodes, we can get circle nodes, okay? Um, Okay, so now we have, all, so you have all these different features uh, and amongst many, many others, you can put colors and things like that. We'll talk a little bit about that in the next video. So now let's go to drawing the edges. Okay, so we want to draw. So what this is just saying, this is just uh, an edge. Okay, You'll, I'll show you how, what, how we can change this. Um, and then let's say we want to draw an edge from N1 to node N2. Okay, end it with the semicolon, and there we go. 
Okay, we have our edge. Now, um, if we want it to bend, we can, you know, specify that we want it to bend. This is sort of the, the curvature of the bend. Okay, so now it's bending right this way. I guess I meant to make it bend left. If we want this cycled. And there we go. Okay, so now we have our edge, which is bending. Uh, you know, you can make it bend more or less, depending on how you let, you know, what you're looking for. You see 90 gets a little bit ugly. You can, we can try 50, that should probably be good. Okay, something like this. Now if we want an arrow, we just simply put the arrow head like this. Okay, and there you go. You can make them bigger, you can customize the size of the nodes and, and everything like that. Uh, but we're just going to stick with this here. Okay, so let's draw another node. Let's say uh, N2 uh, to N3. And we'll keep the same bend and we'll also have the arrow. Okay, so maybe we want it to bend a little bit more here. You can also specify whether it goes to the center or not. And okay, so uh, again, you know, now because this this edge we it's required to bend, uh, you know, kind of in a non-natural way. Uh, you could always move this, right? You could always move this so that the the bend looks better. Okay, this is just uh, you know some tips and tricks that you get along the way rather than having to figure out how to make this look better. Uh, okay, so the last one is going to be uh, N3 to N1, okay, and of course the arrow head, you know, is going to point from N3 to N1, okay, so we don't need as much bend here, let's see, okay, something like this, it's a bit ugly, but you know, you, if you play around with the spacing of the nodes, uh, you'll get something that looks much nicer. Um, Okay, but you know, for example, if we want to change the direction of the arrowhead, we can either write n1 to n3 with the arrow on this side, or we can just write the arrow like this. Okay. Uh, similarly, you can do things like um, change the thickness. Okay, change the thickness of the of the edge. You can make them dotted, for example. This is going to give us a dotted. Oh, here it's over here, a dotted edge. Okay, um, and I mean there are many other options. Okay, so but this is sort of the basics, right? You want to start your your networks like this, and uh, okay. So uh, in the next video, we'll talk about some some more customizable options and some more advanced uh, tips for networks.